Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Memo. And today, this is Pay It Forward Video Hop. Yep, Video Hop on May 16th, 2020 begins today. I hope that you will join us. Now, in the description box, there is a person in the link for the hop that you need to go to next. So that will be in the top of the description box as well as the tutorial that I'm using for this project. Now this project that each of us are doing, we are casing, duplicating a, a similar card or project to the person before us in our hop lineup. Now there are two grand prizes to be given. Also, these prizes is a digital pack and it's gorgeous. And also there's a tangible pack. Both are eligible for international shipping. Isn't that awesome? And some of the designers will be giving away prizes as well. So you need to make sure that you go to each of the uh, ladies in the lineup. So, more information will be in the description box below. So, now I am casing uh, a lady by the name of Min. She has a channel uh, on a stampage, and she has a lot of beautiful projects there, and I had a hard time choosing which one I was going to do. So, I decided I would do the, uh, let's see, what is it called? Smash Acetate Technique. And what it is, is that you take a piece of acetate right here. And I also saw where you could use, uh, like for your stamping, your acrylic stamps with the plastic. You can also use those for the same thing if you don't have any. And you just wipe it off. Then, I am taking, and I don't remember what, or I don't know what size paper she used. But mine is a three and a half by five I want to say five. Yeah, three and a half by five. It doesn't really matter as long as, you know, you're happy with what you want to do. Now, in order to do this technique, you need water-based markers. And my Ohuhu markers are water-based. And my others are not, so I couldn't use those. And what I'm using, I cannot read. Let's see. Number 35, lemon yellow. See if I can read this one because they're starting to wear down. And I don't know. This is a sky blue, I believe. And I can't read the number. Six vivid pink and 50 forest green. And what you want to do is just take your acetate. I almost did the wrong thing there. Take your acetate and one of your colors and make sure you have on hand uh, a sprayer bottle plus a paper towel, which I've already got one here, but I think I'll get a fresh one. There. Now I've got a fresh paper towel, and so you want all those pieces. So now I am going to start, I think I'll start off with the, the blue. I believe that's what I'm going to do. And the thing about this is that if you make a mess, you can do it again before you put it onto your card. If you think it's not going to be the right arrangement. It can be any of the colors. I'm using four and I am going to start with the blue. Now this is just making lines through. They can be solid, they can be squiggly, they can be whatever you want to do. And then I am going to take, let's see, I think I'll take my pink and I'll go over it may have to use my other, the broad tip on this one. Yeah. So just squiggling it along. I'm going to use a yellow, and this one you won't be able to see very well because it's such a light color, but I can see it. It looks like you might be able to see it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then the last one I'm going to do is put a forest green on and I think I will go ahead and use the broad tip on it just to see how it does. Again if it doesn't work 
you can always start over on your acetate. You just got to wipe it off because it is water-based. Hang on to it, Jeannie. All right. Now, do I want to fix that pink? No, I think it'll be okay. So you just spritz it a few times. Um, I'm going to... I think that's all I'm going to do to it. And then you can either tip your acetate and let it run a little bit. I'm letting it set in just a minute. For just a minute, I should say. I'm going to move it so I can kind of clean this part off. And then I'm going to take my paper. And I'm just, I see I've got ink on my finger, my, under my nail. Smash it down into it. Let's see what it looks like. And that came out really, I like that. Came out better than I was afraid it would. Because you know how it is when you're doing something for a project to, to record. It's going to mess up on you every time. You can heat dry that or let it dry. And it's dry. So now I'm going to bring out a stamp. And uh, we're going to talk about that. Okay, I've already got my paper onto my stamping platform. And over here, you can see that I have an acrylic stamp. And it's for graduation. Even though school may be closed in places, some, you know, some may do a graduation celebration anyway. So I'm going to take my Sizzix stamp. I was going to use my... Um, stays on but it's drying up so that's not going to work so we're going to see if this will work so I'm going to take it make sure this is down and if it doesn't go all the way I can just do it again Okay, perfect. So now I am going to get ready and assemble the card, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to pull back just a little bit here. Okay, here's my card, all finished, and I had so much fun making this. And now, of course, her color, men's colors were different, of course, and that's what it's supposed to be, because it's your style, your colors. But you do the same technique, and this is what I did. Now, I didn't have the same trim here, border trim, that she had. But that doesn't matter as long as, you you know, it's the same technique still. And I chose different colors, and I love these colors together. And I did a pink ribbon. And I, the card here is almost an A2 size. It's just a tiny bit smaller lengthwise. So, anyway, I, now I could put some stickles uh, in different areas, but I'm not sure if the graduation card, if I want to do that. I kind of like it this way, the plain way. But anyway, all the links will be below of each of the designers that you need to follow. And it's a pay it for pop where uh, the designer after, uh, let's see, I'm after men. She's at the top of the list and then I'm next. And then, I, so I do what she did. And there it is acetate smacking acetate technique i called it i think earlier smash acetate technique but it's actually a smacking acetate technique so anyway have a great day many blessings check out the description box and all the links and i'll see you next time bye for now